Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel where I review Blu-rays, movies, UHDs, all that sort of fun stuff. Uh, today, I am going to be checking out Gore in Venice. Uh, this is a 1979 film. It's uh, coming out on Blu-ray. Well, it's probably already out, actually, uh, from Full Moon Features. Um, what can I say about Gore in Venice? If you have not heard of it, it is a... Well, it's also it's also called Jalo in Venice. I wouldn't really call it a Jalo film. Uh, there's no like black gloved killer that you're trying to figure out who is doing the killing. It's actually sort of like a mismatch of two different movies that they just kind of <laughs> threw together. Uh, the overall story is uh, these two people are found murdered, uh, and a detective. Uh, I don't even know. I can't even remember his name. All I know is he has wacky ass hair. He's constantly eating hard boiled eggs all the time, which is really gross. Uh, I like hard boiled eggs, but man, this guy is like constantly just like picking at hard boiled eggs. He leaves them in his pockets and pants and oh, and he literally wears the same costume, like it's costume, the, the same outfit throughout the entire movie. And the movie takes place over like a week. Uh, so yeah. Ugh, can you imagine hard-boiled eggs in your pockets in like Venice so it's probably hot and you're wearing the same clothes Blech. Blech. anyway so there's two people murdered he's trying to figure out why uh, how it happened um, and there's also some other murders uh, happening that he's trying to figure out how they're connected um, <laughs> so his his actual investigation work uh, consists of going around and talking to people and them telling him backstory about the two people that were murdered. About how, And they're like, oh yeah, um, I remember this. And then they'll flash back and they'll tell you the whole story. I don't know how these people know the events that have happened because they were not there. They weren't present, yet they somehow know. Um, so it turns out the two people... Uh, one of the, guy, the the guy, all these actors you'll probably notice from other films like Burial Ground, uh, Patrick Still Lives, all those type of films. Um, the main guy from Patrick Still Lives, the, the I think his name's Fabio, he's a sex addict. Or in this movie, he's just called a pervert. Um, he's a sex addict, so he's constantly doing all this like weird sexy, <laughs> weird sexy shit. No, it's not sexy at all. None of this shit is sexy. He's like basically... Fabia, his girlfriend or wife or whatever, he's forcing her into these situations, like going to a porn theater and like starting to make out and like fucking finger blasting her while there's a guy sitting right next to him. And then the guy fucking pulls his dick out and you see it, you see the dick and he's just ah, cranking on it and it's getting hard. And I don't, um, yeah, so this movie, um, it, it does say on the back that it's uncut, uncensored. Um, all the sex scenes are put back into it. The sex scenes are so unnecessary. Oh my God, so unnecessary. It just takes way too long. I watched this with my girlfriend last night and it was a very uncomfortable time. I can uh, I can tell you that. Um, we're, we're, not, we're not a couple that like to just sit down and watch porn together. Um, so this movie is very close to porn. Um, you know, it's like softcore porn. Like you do see some dicks and you see some pubic hair. You don't actually see any like like labias coming out at the screen or anything like that um or assholes or something like that other movie i watched i can't remember where it was like an asshole oh yeah thriller and uh, no, i reviewed it on youtube here um jesus christ all the sex talk has got me so confused as to where i was oh yeah so he's a pervert or sex addict he's forcing her into these situations um so you're finding all this backstory out about, you know, how he was like, you know, he's not a very nice person. And then meanwhile, this other person is killing people that are kind of connected to them. So you're like, OK, so he's the killer, but maybe he isn't. And uh, there's one scene where he like stabs a prostitute in the crotch with scissors. And I mean, it's all like fake, like it's fake prosthetic stuff and like that. But, you know, it's, you know, it's still pretty graphic. Although I had to laugh when the scene cut back and the scissors were just hanging out of this like crotch. Uh, I probably shouldn't have laughed. Uh, yeah, that was probably not right to laugh at that moment. Anyway, um... So, yeah, he's doing all this. So he doesn't actually do really any sort of detective work because because near the end of the movie, you find out that there's some people that witnessed the murder. 
and this guy, this guy's like, yeah, they just like work like just like right down the dock from where this happened and they're er there every day and so he goes and interview him finds out what happened and, <laughs> and he could have done that at the beginning why don't you do your fucking job at the beginning and interview everyone in the area like you would have solved this case so quickly he was too busy fucking eating eggs all the time uh so yeah so i okay so i would say if if they were to cut out all the sex from this movie you know and, uh, a little bit keep a little bit in um, because it is a sex thriller, um, the movie would be so much better. It's like 99 minutes, and it just felt so long. There was like just an ex this extended masturbation scene with this girl, and I mean, uh, it's obvious that she's not doing anything. She's just like going to town on her pubic hair. Um, another thing my girlfriend said, which I, now that I think about it, is a little weird, but uh, she said the main character, she looked like a child except for the bush. So I totally want to get a bumper sticker that's... Actually, no, whoa, I do not want to get a bumper sticker that says... I do not want to drive around with a bumper sticker that says that. Um, yeah, uh, so... Oh, wow, so much sex in this movie, I get confused. So everything that happens, okay, so yeah. So, okay, so there is some cool twists and turns that happen in the movie. So like I said, he cut out all that crap, like, not crappy sex, but he cut all that sex out, trim it down. It actually would have been a good movie. It, like, it would have been a good, like, thriller. You know, like uh, like an erotica thriller without, you know, going overboard with the sex. But unfortunately, it just goes too much. It's just too much. It's just like you're sitting there and it's like like 20 minutes. And you're like, dear God, stop masturbating. Anyway, so that's score in Venice. Um, I liked it. But I also didn't like it. Like I liked bits and pieces of it. Um, one of the one of the main actresses in it. She's in Burial Ground. She's the one that has the little forty year old son. Like, well, forty year old playing her like twelve year old son. It's really weird. Um, she's in it. I think she might have been in Patrick Still Lives as well. Um, now that I think about it, I don't know if it says on the back. No, it doesn't say on the back if she was in it. But um, yeah. So okay. So that's 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 the movie. I probably shouldn't talk anymore about the movie. Um, the Blu-ray, eh? It's it's it's. It says here that it was remastered from the best available materials. The best available materials were not great looking because there's a lot of scratches. There's a lot of damage. Uh, some audio pops here and there. Um, I do know that the film has a 2.0 stereo. That's the main one, and it has a hidden 5.1 track. I don't understand why they included a 5.1 track. The movie's from 79. It's a cheap, made, cheaply made movie. The stereo is fine. It sounds all right. But like I said, there is some audio pops and stuff. And there is damage on the transfer. Um, still, I mean, it's not terrible. But I, I could see it being definitely better restored, depending on the print. But I mean, the print could have been really bad, I think. I think some of the trivia says that the print was found in like, I don't know, like an attic or something stupid. I don't know. So it could have been really bad damage. Um, if you're wondering if there's any special features on Gore in Venice on this Blu-ray, no, there is not. Uh, the only thing on here is a bunch of trailers, Euro cult trailers. Um, like, uh, what was it? Portuguese nun sex dreams or something. I don't know. Uh, uh, sexy... Sexy Sisters was another one, but also called Satanic Sisters. Um, Women in Cell Block 9, I think, was another trailer. They're all, like, trashy sex films. Uh, oh, yeah, that actually reminds me. This film, there is not one strong female character in this film. There is not one. They're, they are all damsels in distress, weak people. It is awful <laughs> how, how how they wrote the char the female characters. Of course, now that I think about it, there's not really any strong male characters either. I think about it. Yeah. Who's this written by? Written by Aldo Ciro. Don't know. It's directed by Mario Landy. I, I, I don't know who Mario Landy is. It does say that it is his notorious 1979 Italian thriller. Um, yeah. So let's... Um, oh, let me... Let me show you the package. There's the cover. Sorry, it's a little bright in here. Here we go. That's a little better. Convenient timing. Um, there's the back. Some 
photos and there's there's no reverse cover and then the actual disc there's not much on it it's just shows uh, the killer in it um but it's not spoiling anything. you'd have to watch the movie if you do watch it uh yeah so if i'm gonna rate it i am going to rate it uh, i'm gonna rate it overall i'm gonna give it a two i'm gonna give it two um two uh <laughs> What do I want to do it? Uh, two. Blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, two. Uh, uh, two female. Uh, two Favias cry baiting. Uh, what I like to call cry baiting, where they like masturbate for twenty minutes while crying. So two of her, out of five. Um, five hard boiled eggs. Just blah, 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 five hard boiled eggs. So it's two out of five overall. It's okay. It's okay. Check it out if you're interested because you're in for a treat. Um, but yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming back. If you're returning, if you're new, I can't believe you made it this far into the video. Um, remember to check out Cultivation, importtaste.ca. It's Canadian because I'm Canadian. Um, we have a, what do we have? We have, uh, Ryan has a podcast, uh, Blood and Black Rum. Uh, on Cultploitation, we do screenshots and galleries and scans of all the Blu-rays we receive. So this one here, Gore and Venice, will have a gallery up. Most likely by the time this video is posted. And uh, yeah, we have Patreon if you want to subscribe. This is all the shit that people put at the end of the video because no one actually watches it. So let's just put a whole bunch here. Um, yeah, so I appreciate you watching. My camera stopped just as I was about to say, have a great day. So have a great day. Thank <music> you.